Bee and Bee by Silver Fay. This one is for my very special friend Bee, who I miss very much. And Silver Fay sent me a message that said, Be happy. That's a very special message for me and a message that I would like to send to everyone who listens to this story. Thank you, Silver Fay. Beatrice was her shouting name. Beatrice Rose, don't flick your peas. Beatrice Rose, get back in bed. Beatrice Rose, don't pick your nose. But the rest of the time, she was just B. She was a happy B. B lived in a little cottage just outside the village. Her friend Poppy lived next door with her puppy Pip. B longed to have a pet, but Mummy said, Our garden is just too small for a dog, B. B's garden wasn't really a proper garden. It was more of a backyard with a small patch of soil along the edge where B grew flowers. Flowers made B happy. In winter, Snowdrops brightened the drab yard. In spring, Bee's yard started to fill with colourful flowers. In summer, the dandelions and the daisies grew wild. And by autumn, the sunflowers had grown as tall as Bee. Bee loved her flower patch, even though it was too small for a dog. She loved to water it and sing to the flowers. One day, as Bee was humming, she heard a buzzy sound. <coughs> Bee stopped humming and looked around. The buzzing stopped too. Bee started humming again and the buzzy sound joined in. <laughs> Sitting on a sunflower was a fuzzy, buzzy bee. <laughs> Hello, little bee. I'm bee too. I shall call you little bee just like me. <laughs> Little Bee crawled onto Bee's finger and waved his front leg. Bee and Little Bee sat in the flower patch together. Bee hummed and Little Bee buzzed. <laughs> Hey, little bee, you can hum just like me. Soon, Mummy called Bee in for tea. Bye-bye, little bee, called Bee as she skipped to the door. Little Bee tried to follow her, but he went, Zickety, suckety, wibbly, wobbly, plop! Oh dear, poor little bee. Bee ran to pick him up. Be careful, Bee. It might sting you. It's okay, Mummy. Little Bee is my pet, she said, stroking Little Bee's fuzzy back. You can't keep a bee as a pet. But, Mummy, you said our garden is too small for a dog, but it's the perfect size for a bee. Mummy couldn't argue with that. Bee Put Little Bee in Mummy's flower pot. Hey, Little Bee, you can have tea just like me. Oh, he looks super happy, look. He's having a snooze, I think. Bzzz. 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 
<laughs> After tea, B ran out to play with little B. Little B flew to greet her. Ziggity, zaggity, wibbly, wobbly, plop! B joined in. <laughs> She ran ziggity zaggity wibbly wobbly and plopped onto the grass next to little bee. <laughs> oh. Hey little bee, you can fly just like me. Mummy peeped her head out of the door. I think your little bee has a poorly wing. He can't fly straight. B had a close look. Mummy was right. Little B's wing was torn. Oh, poor little B. I'll look after you until you're better. Snack time, called Mummy, bringing out a tray of drinks, a juice for B and a plate of sugary water for little B. Little B drank thirstily. <sniffs> Hey, little bee, you can drink just like me. That night, Mummy put Bee to bed, but after she'd kissed her good night, Bee ran to the window. Night, night, little bee, she called. Little bee flew. Ziggity, zaggity, wibbly, wobbly, plop! And he landed on the windowsill. <laughs> B grabbed a pillow from the doll's house and made little B a cosy bed. <laughs> Hey, little bee, you can sleep just like me. The next day, Bee was excited. Mummy was taking her out to lunch. Of course, little bee came too, perched in the basket of Bee's bicycle. <laughs> As Bee and Mummy found a table in the sunshine, Little bee buzzed over to the florist next door. Ziggity, zaggity, wibbly, wobbly, plop! Little bee landed on a pot of lavender. <sniffs> hey, little bee, you can have lunch just like me. Mummy had grown to like little bee. If little bee is going to be your pet, we need to do some shopping, she said. B, Mummy and Little B went to the garden centre. They watched while Little B pointed out his favourite flowers. <coughs> little B helps B push the trolley to the checkout. Hey, Little B, you can do shopping just like me. After tea, B played with Poppy and Pip while Mummy planted all the flowers. When Bee returned home, she found her drab yard had been transformed into a colourful garden. Look at that. It's so beautiful. Lucky little Bee. What a paradise for him to live in. Little Bee flew to greet her. Ziggity, zaggity, wibbly, wobbly, plop! And he landed on Bee's nose. <laughs> Bee heard lots of loud buzzy sounds and looked around. Bees buzzed and butterflies fluttered from flower to flower. Hey, little bee, now you have friends just like me. <laughs> the end. 
Silver Fay has given us a special message just from B. She says, if you find an exhausted or injured bee, the best thing you can do is place them in a sheltered part of the garden near to bee-friendly plants. And she's given us a recipe for sugar water. Mix half a teaspoon of white refined sugar with half a teaspoon of warm water. Do not feed bees brown sugar or honey. Do not leave out bowls of sugar water for bees. This can actually do more harm as the bees will drink the sugar water instead of flower nectar. It's the equivalent of feeding them junk food. Sugar water is great as a quick energy boost for a tired bee, but it is not a replacement food source. And there's Bee's Bee looking so happy in his garden. Bzzz.